Today, we're discussing the one thing that controls your life. Every loss and every win, there's one thing that controls it. And you know it because we live in life where we know that's the beginning and the end of your life, your day, your week, your month, your year, and everything else that we do as well. Even this video has an end, so we have finite metrics that we can measure. But in between that, we were given something that God blessed us with, um, which is called free will. And then that free will gives us one thing that we can be able to do while we're here is choices. So what do you choose to do today when you're watching this video? You chose to watch this video. What do you choose to do when you're successful? What do you choose to do when you fail? What do you choose to do when you get disappointed? What do you choose to do when things are not going your way? What do you choose to do when you're having a delayed gratification that you're still in the process of you know, manifesting your desired goals and dreams? What happens then? What do you choose to do when you wake up? What do you choose to do after you get back from work? What do you choose to do after you eat your dinner? You know, all those choices accumulate. And then that's why most successful people, including Jeff Bezos, say we are our choices. And that is what makes us who we are. Either you are successful, then you are your choices. If you are a failure or you feel like one, then you shouldn't blame anybody else. It's also your choice as well. The only time that people admit that, you know, there are their choices when they are successful, but when they fail, we do not admit that we are our choices when we fail. I do that too as well. Sometimes when I fail, I'm like, who would make me fail or somebody else? But, I, you know, if I dig deep and I sit down and I ignore the noise, I know that I feel that it's me. It's my fault and uh, I have to do better. Then right now, I started doing that um, uh, 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 um, at some point to say, hey, what did I do to put myself in this situation? What can I learn from it? Because, you know, failure usually is not as bad as it seems. I believe that life is about making mistakes and learning from them. And don't be afraid to make mistakes. I encourage all my students as well to say, um, make mistakes as much as you can. So the only thing about mistakes is that if you made a mistake, maybe that wiped you out or maybe that uh, drained you or maybe that got you to fail, you know, then the tough gets going. I always ask my students one thing, what keeps you going when the tough gets going? You know, maybe they choose to go, but why do they choose to go? Then we go a little bit deeper and they always answer with one thing, which is my why. And your why is something that's going to keep you going as well. And this is something that you also have to choose wisely as well. It's okay, I'm choosing what my why is. And my why can be tangible. My why can also be intangible wise. And usually what drives people for long periods of time, usually the intangible wise, which Maybe they are, um, you know, holding it like an inner scorecard that they have for themselves. It's okay, this is my inner scorecard. I never reveal it. But some of their why's is maybe the family, uh, maybe the people they love, they care about, uh, maybe um, their experience when they were young, maybe they experienced a lot of poverty, uh, maybe they experienced difficulty or financial, um, um, you know, like uh, 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 situations where they were not having enough abundance of finances as well. Uh, let's just say poverty, in a sense. And then they just want to make sure that the people after them, their next generation, not even a generation, their family, is going to be sorted out. Or personally as well, they want to be in a place where they feel like they have freedom financially as well. Maybe somebody has a, had a job for a long, long time as well, and they're thinking like, you know what? I've been doing this job thing for a while right now. And, uh, you know, and my boss is talking down on me. I don't like how, you know, he's doing things. I uh, doesn't respect my opinion or my ideas as well. And I have these ideas that I want to implement too. So I want to be in a place where I feel appreciated and I want to have freedom as well. So freedom might be your why as well. You say, okay, I feel like I'm doing this because of freedom. You can realize that those are things that are not tangible. They're not like, uh, I'm doing this because I want to buy a Ferrari. I'm doing this because I want to buy a house. I'm doing this because I want to buy shoes. I'm doing this because I want to buy something. If you are one of those people who have the whys that are based on tangible things, the issue with the tangible things is that when you reach that stage, then you have to find a new why and new why and new why, and you'll never get filled enough uh, on that as well. And I think most of the time, the, the tangible whys are not really good drivers that are going to keep you going when things get tough. Because when things get really, 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 really tough, as any business does, any business has a cycle, you know? You start, you go up, and then it goes down, and then it's like a draft. 
sorry, like a graph, like economic cycles as well, mm. business cycles as well. And uh, what's going to keep you going is can, it cannot be a Ferrari when things are getting tough and um, you have to make tough decisions. It's going to have to be something beyond uh, you as well to say, hey, if I don't do this any modern wake up today, my family is going to starve. If I don't close this deal, then I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, um, uh, be hungry like I used to be when I grew up or something like that. And it has to be something that you fear and it's making you make decisions and get results. So I just want to challenge you today to say, hey, you had goals this year. You had New Year's resolutions this year. You know, how far are you with those things? It's getting to become May right now. How are you doing on that? And also, what choices did you make? And are you making the right choices to lead you towards your goals that you have this year? And also, I mean, um, if you have fear right now, you know, if you have the anxiety of saying, okay, maybe this thing is not the right thing to do. If you're somebody who feel like giving up, the COVID-19 affects all of us, the finances are bad, January and February was the worst month I've ever had. Maybe this thing that I'm doing right now, which you chose to do, is the wrong thing to do. Maybe you want to do something else that's new. Just know it's going to have its own challenges. And just know that you're going to be having the, 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 the cycles as well. And then just also decide that, look, go back to your why. And choose to do things according to your why as well. And realize that every choice you make is going to lead you to your losses. And every choice you make is going to lead you to your successes as well. So I want you to comment on the video below and tell me what choices are you making today to make you get to a place where you want to be. And uh, I want to say deserve because nobody deserves anything by the way you can be by your actions as well and taking accountability, discipline, and also focus on what your goal is as well. So take action today. And also action cures things like anxiety, action cures regret that you might have as well most of the time the regret can be some very very heavy thing that we have like we regret leaving my job i regret doing this i regret doing that but if you sit down and you can't regret i don't think that would get you anywhere unless if you start taking action small progressive results that you get and then you, <coughs> sorry about that and then you'll be able to gain a little bit of confidence and then you get to your wins as well. So I want to see you guys win. And I keep winning if you're already winning. And if you think you're having a hard time, look, maybe this is the video you need to watch and keep going and make the right choices going forward. So this is one thing that controls your life. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.